In a shocking turn of events that has left communities in Vancouver, Washington, and Portland, Oregon, on edge, two ballot box arson incidents occurred early Monday morning, potentially affecting hundreds of voters just days ahead of the November 5th general election. These incidents have drawn significant attention from law enforcement, including the FBI, who are investigating the motives and circumstances behind these alarming acts. The first incident occurred around 4 a.m. at a ballot drop box located at Fisher's Landing Transit Center in Vancouver. Authorities reported seeing heavy smoke billowing from the box. Eyewitness accounts describe first responders working to extinguish flames while managing a pile of charred ballots that continued to smolder even after the fire was put out. The Clark County Elections Auditor revealed that the last pickup at that location had been at 11 a.m. Saturday, meaning that hundreds of ballots were inside when the fire ignited. Alarmingly, only a few of these ballots could be salvaged, prompting urgent calls for voters who had dropped off their ballots after the last pickup to contact the elections office for replacements. As Vancouver police arrived at the scene, they discovered a suspicious device near the ballot box, which led to the deployment of the Metro Explosive Disposal Unit. Authorities have since stated that the investigation has been turned over to the FBI, who are now leading the efforts to uncover the perpetrator that is S behind this brazen attack on the democratic process. Meanwhile, just hours before the Vancouver incident, Portland police responded to a similar emergency involving another ballot drop box, where an incendiary device was set off. Fortunately, quick action by security staff contained the fire before it could cause extensive damage, and only three ballots were reported destroyed due to an internal fire suppressant. While this incident was less severe, it still raised significant concerns about the security and safety of voters and their ballots. In light of these incidents, Washington State Democratic Party Chair Shasti Conrad released a statement emphasizing the serious implications of such attacks on voter disenfranchisement. She urged anyone who dropped off their ballot after the critical cutoff time to verify the status of their vote immediately and to seek replacements if necessary. The chair reinforced the message that Washington state prides itself on having one of the most secure voting systems in the nation, underscoring the importance of maintaining voter trust amid such unsettling events. Local leaders, including Clark County Auditor Greg Kimsey, expressed their commitment to ensuring that voters impacted by these incidents receive replacement ballots in time for the upcoming election. Secretary of State Steve Hobbs also condemned these acts of violence asserting that they pose a direct threat to the integrity of the electoral process. Hobbs reassured voters that their rights would be fiercely protected, and that law enforcement would actively pursue those responsible for such acts of terror. As the clock ticks down to the election, the incidents of arson serve as a stark reminder of the challenges and threats faced by voters and election officials. In a time when the right to vote is more critical than ever, these acts of intimidation must be met with unwavering resolve to safeguard democratic processes. Voters are encouraged to remain vigilant, ensure their ballots are secure, and report any suspicious activities surrounding ballot drop boxes to the appropriate authorities. The incidents in Vancouver and Portland have not only shocked the communities involved, but have also sparked a broader conversation about the safety and security of our elections in the face of potential threats. Stay subscribed for more videos.